Hey everyone, it's Steve. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about serial phone wiring. So well, this is a little bit of an addition to that video I made once before about home phone wiring, but I didn't do a very good job explaining serial wiring. Well, I have a different house now, and this is something I'm wrestling with. So what serial wiring is, is if you can see, if you remember, I said that all phone lines usually come in on the, on the blue or the red green. So here's the blue, right? But see how there's two wires here? two of the solid blues and two of the blue whites. So what's happening is the dial tone, one of these one of these gray cables, there's actually two gray cables here. One of these cables is either coming from another phone jack or from the D-mark on the outside of the house where the phone lines come in. This other cable is now going to another phone jack. So what I was trying to point out is that if you're having trouble with a particular phone jack, the problem might not be the jack itself, but maybe one of the jacks before further up the line between it and the uh, D-mark where the, where the dial tone comes from the phone company. So for instance, you could have, say for instance, corrosion or you could have one of these is broken. So this jack might actually work fine, but if the wire that leaves the jack going to the next one is, is broken somewhere, the problem could actually be here, all right? So like a lot of times, like these are really brittle sometimes. So they'll break off or one will break off, but the other one won't. All right, so serial wiring basically means that the wire comes from one place with the dial tone, screws onto the terminals, and then another cable is leaving with tied onto the same terminals, carrying that dial tone onto the next jack. That's called, in the field, we call it daisy chain. So if somebody ever says daisy chain wiring to a phone tech, that usually what this, that's what this means. Let me show you another jack. I wanna take a second before we move on to the next jack, just to remind you what I mean by the word DMARC. So on the outside of your house or an apartment, there might be a box somewhere in the apartment or in the hallway of the apartment. There's gonna be some junction box, usually might say AT&T, Verizon, 9X, something to do with the phone company. So like that one says AT&T. Anyway, if you can open that up, and you can, not always can, sometimes they got special little weird bolt heads that won't let you get in there. But if you get in, what you'll see is that this is the phone wiring where it originates. So the phone service comes into this box. This is actually a fiber, uh, fiber converter, but the dial tone from the phone company would originate here. The wires here then lead into the different jacks in the house. So this is the D mark. It's the origination point of your uh, phone service. All right. So for instance, like here's another room. This is the actually the, the living room, same floor, and it too has the serial wiring. I can tell because there's two different cables, and the same thing as the last jack I just showed you in the bedroom. All right. And then let's go to the kitchen. So here's that old fashioned wall jack like you used to see in kitchens. And then here again, you can see there's, let me get you up close here. You can see that there's, there's two sets of each color wire. Now, even though there's blue and orange, typically, unless you have a separate phone number, a second separate phone number, oftentimes the orange isn't used anymore. Uh, usually it's just the blue. So, or it might be red, green, all right? But so that's serialized also. So if there's only three jacks on this first floor, my guess is, is this is probably going from here up to the upstairs to feed some jacks on the upstairs. All right, so I'm hoping I've helped you understand serial wiring because when you're trying to troubleshoot jacks that aren't working, just keep in mind that even though this jack might not be working, it could be a jack further back up the chain or up the wiring that is uh, not working. Okay, thanks.